Not only did we accomplish all the grocery shopping today, but we got a badass fishing deal. And we're gonna be talking about that today here on the Bass Your Channel. Welcome back, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We got the light on on this GoPro uh, 9, GoPro 11 creator bundle that it's freaking blinding, but I just wanted to, I'm just curious on how it goes. And I haven't filmed with the light, so there's just a little fun addition. Hello, Miss Hound Dog. Not a fan of the light. We got Miss Willow. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. So yeah, we were able to go out, um, got shopping out of the way on this fine weekend day, just so I'd have the week to not have to worry about it. All the groceries done, everything on else, laundry. And we ran into Academy, which by luck is always a mistake. You're always gonna end up spending uh, tomorrow's money today, sponsored by Capital One, and that's what we did. But for good reason. We found a sub $100 bait cast, not only just a reel, but a combo. Seven foot medium heavy, hack attack, loose speed spool. I bought a spool, can't talk today. 15 pound trialene monofilament. I plan on using this rod for strictly a fluke rod. Just a bomb flukes, and it retails for $119 at Academy. Now they're having a sale this weekend, and brought it down to 60 bucks. So I got a sub $100 combo. It was pretty badass, can't wait to show it to you. We're gonna go outside, spool that thing up, and bomb a fluke around the yards, kind of show you all this thing. Girl, there you go, you sit. Wait, wait, go ahead. Good girl. Sometimes I swear this dog's carrying around dead animals, but she finds these ragged stuffed animals she has. Rosie will bury them in the yard, along with bones and squirrels and birds and rabbits, anything else she catches. Rosie's the hound, this is Willow. So she'll pick up these stuffed animals until she's all ready to go. We're uh, currently eradicating a uh, colony of rats. She like calling ass in there. Ugh. I'm trying to get after them. Dude, and I swear I'm getting some rats that must be a pound and a half, two pounds because they're walking off with the damn traps st stuck to their backs and necks. So things are a different breed down here in Florida. All right, so let's get some line out, spool this baby up, put a four-hour wide gap hook on it, and bomb a fluke around. I wish we were actually fishing. That's really what I should have done, but I'm so stoked to get this video out. If you're, if you're new to the channel, this is in a channel you, you're used to. I know we're kind of coming back uh, after being gone for a little bit. I love doing reviews. I love doing unboxings. And I love showing y'all how to save money on fishing gear because that's what we're all in for, right? Finding the best gear for the best prices. So this is the rod and reel of discussion. Sorry, we got like the back part of the boat here. I'm trying to, I don't know how, it's, so it's windy as all get out today, of course. Dad wants to shoot a freaking video. So I'm just trying to put it, the camera on the microphone behind some type of cover. All right, so I can't even lie to you. I've already casted this thing around for $70 price tag. Dude, this thing has absolutely smoked my expectations. We're gonna get some close up shots of it here in a second. And we'll do a couple of little like slow roll buys. Awesome. I mean, I picked this thing, honest to God, I thought it was gonna be like a honk of junk. I picked it up and I saw this, it was, you know, had a $119 price tag on. I said, well, heck, can't be that bad for 120 bucks. And it said freaking $69. I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. So there's only one left. I would have bought three or four, but it's a seven five to one gear ratio, 10 bearing reel, the side plate, which the only thing that I can see being an issue is that that coming off, that side plate coming off and falling into the lake and being gone forever. Uh, but the side plate comes off and you have a dual casting control. You can't mess this up. Off is down, on is flipped up. Side plate goes back on. It doesn't click, it's not like, it kind of throws me off. So when you click it back in, there's no metallic click. There's really nothing to say that the real, the side spool, the side plate is clicked back in. Which is probably the only fault that I have found on the reel so far, so. Seven foot medium heavy. Wind grip around the top handle, EVA foam on the bottom, the split handle. I did notice the reel seat, does get a little loose so i bust out a pair of your dad's channel locks or whatever tool you can come across and really send that real seat home it's just a cheaper plastic here but just casting this one a couple times i really had to lock that real seat on for it to bite so again we're not going to sit here and bug around over a freaking 60 70 dollar rod and reel 120 whatever you want to call it and uh we're not going to pick it apart all day because it's a badass price but again four odd hook 
I spooled it with a fresh thing of 15 pound Berkeley Trilene big game monofilament. I like the mono because I do a lot like with the fluke. I throw in a lot of shallow water. I fish a lot of clean water when I'm throwing a fluke. And I'm throwing it around a lot of schoolers. So I like a fluke on braid when I'm around cover and whatnot. Open water, I like a fluke on mono. Let's get some cat. I mean, no gripes on the casting. This reel is freaking butter smooth. I mean, it's literally, that's just a weightless flute. Butter, butter freaking smooth. It's got a pretty medium taper. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it, so it's got a lot of background. I really think it does. It's gonna fish pretty good. I don't know what blank they built this out of. Again, they consider it a medium heavy fast. I would, I would, I don't argue with that at all but I do think it's a little stiffer than some seven foot medium heavies. I think it'd be a great spinner bait rod, but again, it's gonna, it's literally gonna have a four odd wide gear and it's gonna sit in my rod locker. So my audio is gonna be changed a little bit here. I'm behind my microphone, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you guys just one more in-depth look at this thing in case you're on the edge of going and buying one and you're online looking at it already this thing is freaking sweet really wanted to show you all this this isn't a price point that honest to god i'm sure most people can swing even at 120 dollars I, I i still like this i think there's some great options at 120 bucks if you're in that beginner slash income ratio for trying to get into a baitcaster but i think at that price point you're here again split handle seven foot medium heavy rod split real seat which is good for you know a sensitivity functionality being able to have your you know your fingers laying on the blank it's good for you know detecting bites and whatnot but you got the wind grip eva got wind grips on the reel it does have a plastic star drag which isn't huge but it does click tension knob does click which is huge to me and the bigger thing now hold the spool when you're taking this off and also do it the way I'm doing it with it facing up just in case it decides to pull a NASA and go rocketing. It doesn't fall off the side of the boat into the water or into the pond or whatever you're fishing. And again, the dual casting control with the on off switch is inside, which help with your magnets and setting up a great clean cast. And again, no metallic click when going back on, which I think is a design flaw. But again, for where they posted this thing, you can't complain for that. You also have the magnetic settings on the outside from 10 to one. So again, just an awesome score. Figured I'd let you all know about that for Easter weekend. I don't know when that sale ends, so be sure to A, either go online academy.com and check it out. And uh, maybe it'll tell you if there's ones in stock or just do like I did, run to the store, do a little look around. Maybe you'll get lucky and find one. And again, as normal, this is not a paid promotion or sponsored video or nothing by Academy nor Lose. I am not sponsored or representing either of those companies. They did not pay me to go in. Jesus, that scared me. Oh my God, I just knocked a freaking hat off the, uh, <laughs> the roof of the shop. <sighs> I'm not sponsored nor do I represent either of those companies. They're great companies. Academy obviously has great deals all the time. Lose creates a great product, pretty much my favorite brand of reels, but just trying to show y'all a great product, a great price. Y'all need to go out and check this thing out. Other than that, man, you know what to do. Hit me in the comments with any questions, concerns, follow the Instagram page, Basler Your Fishing there on Instagram and uh, stay tuned to the channel, man. I appreciate y'all hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, stick around for some more videos. There's plenty more review, unboxing, 
fishing videos, dude. They're coming down the chute. Tons of fish and stuff. Captain Eric and I got out on Lake Toho. We got on a couple other lakes. We did a Snoopy Rod Challenge, so expect those to come down the chute. Just a little daily vlog thing here. Just a product of uh, concern, so to have. <laughs> Just trying to brag to y'all to go down there and check out. So until the next one, y'all. Again, get out there, be safe. Appreciate y'all's constant support. Any questions, comments, concerns, DM that page there on Instagram or comment below. Until next video, thanks again. See y'all.